So hello, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Martijn. So who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Joep. I'm from uh, the startup Argue. Uh, we have an online uh, platform for crowdsourcing societal problems, uh, solutions to these problems, and arguments in favor or against these problems. Okay, that sounds really fancy, but uh, what do you, what do you uh, exactly do? Well, uh, perhaps it's easier if I just show it to you. So, um, for example, we have a problem in our society, we want to finance a basic income. And uh, here's the question. Then people can submit their own ideas. So basically we, we crowdsource these ideas on how to solve this particular problem. And then people can uh, submit either pro or con arguments. So what you end up with is a really clear, simple oversight of the societal problem, uh, various solutions, and reasons why you should be either in favor or against a certain solution. Okay. And then people can vote on these solutions. And of course, uh, ultimately, also political parties can vote on these solutions as well, right on the platform. So basically, we have a, a platform for online democracy. Okay, it sounds really nice. And, and, and uh, can you only vote or can you also give su uh, su uh, suggestions? Yeah, people, uh, it's, it's, um, people are able to offer their own ideas, they can submit their own arguments, they can vote. It's basically all completely open. Okay, cool. And, and how did you come up with the idea? Well, it started out when I was uh, researching uh, nuclear energy. I just found it very hard to get a substantiated opinion about it. And uh, having an opinion about something is really easy, but having a substantiated opinion about anything, it just takes a lot of time. So basically what I was looking for is a place where I can see all the uh, arguments in favor and the arguments against, and then see a substantive discussion about these individual arguments. And that basically uh, was the origin of the idea. So uh, I showed some drawings to my good friend Tom, who's sitting right there. Uh, wait, I'll just show them to you. Hi, guys. Hey, Tom. So um, I just showed Tom a, a couple of these drawings, and a couple of weeks later, he already made uh, a basic version of the platform. And that's when it just started to hit me that this could be something that actually exists in, in, in some term. That was three years ago. And we really started to work on it full-time in uh, September last year at uh, Utrecht Inc. We were picked for the pressure cooker program and we launched our platform in April, got our first customer just a month later, and we're currently growing. Okay, so really good. And uh, who's your first customer? It's the munici municipality of Houten. Okay. So we actually had, um, we had this idea just to crowdsource ideas and uh, questions and arguments about our society but we just didn't have a business model whatsoever. And, uh, and at some point it just hit us, we should use governments because governments want to engage with their uh, citizens and they actually have the money to pay for a platform uh, that we built. So it turned out to be a legit legitimate business model to sell uh, to governments. Okay, and, and do you want to sell it uh, to local order or to national governments? Uh, we basically uh, sell to local governments and we use the national government discussion uh, basically as a marketing tool. Okay. So yeah, so, yeah we basically hit two flies in one spot. We uh, make sure that the, there is substantive debate about important societal problems, and we have a free marketing campaign. Yeah, smart. <laughs> and um, uh, at what way uh, uh, is uh, uh, like in Houten? At what way are they uh, getting their crowd? Because they are they are living many people but uh, they're not connected to the platform. So how do you connect uh, the crowd to the platform? Um, well, it started out with a press release. So they just re said, said, hey, how is the first customer of Argue and we're using the system to you know, engage with our citizens. And then uh, they also adjusted a couple of things on their website, they used social media and basically pretty much every channel that a government has can be used to get people to uh, use Argue and basically discuss the things that matter in their municipality. Okay, and, and uh, like in Houten, how many uh, people are there now uh, on the platform? I believe uh, we had about 70 uh, registered users for the municipality of Houten. And uh, that's actually uh, more than we expected it to be because it started out right when there was a political recession. Um, so it was just vacation and nobody was at their office. But yet still the discussion really started. And, and, and uh, in the end, um, uh, what do you know of these people who are in the platform? Uh, because they register, but do you also give some preference about their uh, background, about their skills, so you also know who is responding? Yeah, good question. Uh, we actually uh, make it possible for people to add that information if they wish. 
we basically stimulate people to use their first name and last main name and give a little bit of background information, but it's not necessary. So, for example, in the municipality of Houten, uh, government officials of the municipality actually used uh, their, their logo of their municipality as their profile picture to show people, hey, we're from the, we're from the municipality, you know, you, you can know what, whatever we're saying, we're listening to this conversation. Okay, so they're also using it a little bit uh, as a marketing tool. Yeah, a little bit, but also as a tool to um, show their own internal disputes. Because governments tend to have um, just one opinion on the outside and various opinions on the inside. But the people on the outside, they don't know what the conflict is inside the government. And then when the government makes a decision, people uh, uh, can, can actually think the decision is bad and have to point fingers at the entire government. So what happens when you, you show the internal debate is you can actually um, convince people of how hard it is to make a very good decision about some, uh, some policies. Okay, so you're creating a transparency and then people, uh, uh, the people uh, uh, who do care, of course, uh, they can see, okay, uh, uh, what has happened and, and, and why do you make this kind of, of, of decisions. And um, um, what, uh, what are the most important lessons learned for, uh, for so far? Uh, because in the end, you, know, you start with an idea and, and then you think, oh, it will work like this and this and this. But in the end, uh, things uh, will go, go uh, I guess, completely different. So what are your most important lessons learned? Well, I think uh, the most important lesson for other uh, entrepreneurs is basically validate whatever idea you have about what your customer wants. Just speak to a lot of potential customers and ask open questions because uh, that, that is the most important lesson for me. It's hard to know what a person actually wants and what they actually want uh, to pay for. Uh, for example, we had a feature that in our mind was just very simple and very trivial and not that important uh, to tell govern governments. But it turned out that it was kind of a big deal and it was pretty much our, our main sale pitch. So uh, yeah, just get out there, start a conversation, ask questions uh, that are open-ended and be open to any form of criticism. Because uh, the okay. most critical people are pretty much the most valuable to learn from. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I do agree about, uh, about that. And you're now uh, getting experience uh, with 70 people from, from Houghton. Um, how long are they now engaged with the platform? Uh, it started at the 7th of June, so uh, it's almost uh, for two months now. Okay, and, and do you also see difference uh, from how, how many times they log in from the first day till now? Yeah, well, that's a thing we're still working on. Uh, we don't have a notification feature just yet. We'll uh, launch it in the next couple of months. But it, uh, uh, we actually see that people, they, they log in, they like it, they start using it, but they don't necessarily come back. So that's why we have to uh, develop the notification feature a bit more. Okay, and, and what are your plans for the future? Because uh, uh, I guess the, the, the how-to case is now a really nice uh, beta case to, to test uh, and to get experience with that. But I guess you also have bigger plans. Uh, yeah, um, well basically we, we started out with the idea of argue as being something that uh, helps democracies but it's actually a more abstract concept that can be applied to any sort of societal structure where there is a large group of people and a small group of people who basically rule them. And that goes not only for, uh, for governments, but also for big companies who want to communicate with their employees, or for example, big organizations that want to communicate with their members, or uh, people who live in a certain, uh, certain big building, you know, any kind of a gr group of people that basically has to make important decisions about a larger group of people. And, uh, but it's in, because then the, the, the possibilities there are endless. Uh, so at what way do you keep focus on doing the right things? Because I think it's quite hard. Yeah, good question. Um, we really decided uh, that governments will be our beachhead market. So currently we're just focusing entirely on that segment. We want to ace this one. And uh, in our product pitch, we fully focus on, on governments. Yet uh, we try just, we, we put minimal effort in some uh, other segments. So basically we are talking with a couple of companies besides local governments, of course, uh, and, and just try to, does, does our software work here? Is this something we should invest more time in? So basically fill cheaply. Okay, and, and, and uh, you're talking uh, uh, about we, so uh, who is we? Uh, are, are you still together with two or, or are there more? Well, currently we're with uh, uh, three full-timers, three co-founders. Uh, and a couple of guys who just hop in and out so now and then uh, until we uh, until we can offer them a full-time job. Okay, cool. And, and did you also uh, need some external money? 
Uh, yeah, uh, we actually were, were funded by uh, Rabobank, the pre-seed fund, which is um, something you can earn if you successfully complete the Utrecht Inc. pressure cooker program. So it's, it's a really nice, uh, it's a nice way to basically lend money with very uh, favorable uh, conditions for a startup. And we have to pay it back in about three years, so that's it's not going to be any problem. Okay, cool. And and uh, what are the futures uh, that, that are still on your wish list? Because I think uh, your wish list is is, uh, is is quite long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so what are your main uh, uh, features you want to implement as soon as possible? Well, there is a, of course a notification feature, uh, but there is another fe feature that is, that's a big one that we're currently working on. Um, uh, governments have a lot of information about which politicians voted when on a certain motion and which motions are actually offered to uh, uh, to, to like the Tweede Kamer or uh, any parliament. And what we want to do is extract that information and present it to the users in a user-friendly way and combine it to actually uh, a discussion online. So uh, we're currently working with a couple of organizations in the Netherlands that are working on extracting the data and create, who, are, who create an open API, which we can use to build a very nice front end to just make all this dem democratic information accessible to anyone. Okay, and, 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 and at what way do you make, make the matching cultures? Because uh, the government is not really f famous about being really flexible and, and fast and also really understanding in new tech solutions, uh, uh, you guys are. So at what way do you uh, uh, take them into the transition uh, to be more digital and also to, uh, to be more open? Well, working with uh, governments is a bit harder because they have all these mechanisms inside that are basically very risk averse. So everything just takes a lot of time and that's why it's going to take a lot more time to, to make a single sale. But uh, they are very, um, very much looking for innovative solutions and they try to be more open. So uh, the Dutch government, for example, has this, uh, this initiative, Open Overheid, or Open Government, which just puts a lot of money in to make sure that it, it actually, uh, and many governments are actually more open and innovative. And then there's the Open uh, Government Partnership, which we were selected as the winner, uh, the Dutch winner of the Open Government Partnership Awards. That's also trying to just bring all this knowledge from all the governments over the world together with regard to uh, sharing data. Okay, and, and, and um, uh, uh, like with the example of Houten, uh, did you also uh, uh, manage to, 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 uh, to get this things like uh, extra data on the platform from the governments? Well, um, the thing about getting that data is that there is a lot of software systems on the side of the governments that we should couple our system to. And uh, currently that's going to take a little bit of too much time because there's like five competing software standards and they don't have a nice API. But the Open State Foundation in the Netherlands is working on creating that open API that basically connects all these government software systems and outputs a single stream of data accessible through one API, through which we will make a new front end. Okay, cool. And 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 uh, when I, uh, I would ask you, okay, what would be your 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 uh, number one on your uh, on your wish, li wish list of, of of new customers? Uh, which uh, uh, who would it be? Well. Um, I think the biggest one would be the biggest municipality in the Netherlands, which is uh, Amsterdam. Uh, but, but still, any large government would be awesome to have as a customer, of course, because we can expand uh, our user base, we can get more validation, and of course, we can get an income so we can get more people to work on this platform. But uh, we don't really discriminate uh, between governments. <laughs> really good. And uh, about the chicken egg problem, you, you also mentioned uh, that when you get more customers, you also got to get more money, and then you can also uh, uh, grow the platform. Uh, are you also thinking about getting investments uh, that you can already grow faster and then have a better story to the to the city you want to to serve? Well, we uh, we contemplated a lot. Of, we, we've thought about about the idea of approaching an investor, and we're actually approached by investors who were interested. Uh, yet uh, the current state of our business is that we, uh, we're selling to, uh, we're, we, have, we have customers and we can sell our product and we basically have a, a non-existent burn rate. So it's a very favorable position for us to be in. And it basically means that uh, currently any percentage of our company, we'd love to g uh, keep to ourselves. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a really a, a nice starting point, I guess. And uh, I think it's a really interesting tool because when you look at the uh, democracy and, and uh, I also had discussion with people about why are there so few people voting? 
and I could uh, give uh, Halbe Zelstra, uh, the guy from the VVD, I, I, uh, I could give him some uh, advice uh, during conference on stage, live on stage about branding. And I said, okay, when you have to uh, be uh, at a marketplace every four years to explain what, you, what you're doing and what your added value is, then you're doing really something wrong. And everybody in the audience was laughing and he was serving, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. So, but I think this kind of tools can really help with that. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we believe the same thing. Uh, but, but there is a kind of a crisis uh, in not just our democracy, but in many democracies in the world. For example, in the Netherlands, uh, less than 3% of the people are actually member of a political party. Yet the people who rule our country exist 100% of people who are member uh, of political parties. So there's kind of a discrepancy and a lot of people therefore don't really feel represented correctly. And I think if we can just um, give people a, a different way to uh, give their say about what's wrong with politics or what could be improved in our government, without all the marketing that is connected to politics, we could actually make people more engaged and find better solutions for the problems that we face as a society. And do you also have a uh, idea how to, how to arrange that so besides using your platform? Well, um, I think uh, the first thing that must, must happen is uh, uh, make people understand the way our democracy basically works. So just spread information on the way our state functions and uh, make people feel less, less powerless than they currently do. People really have the idea that there's no, not a single way to have influence on the important decisions that happen, but they actually have. So just spreading that, that, that information would be the first step, besides, of course, using argue. Okay, so, so, so the, 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 the education part in that is really important. Okay, and, and uh, what, what can we expect uh, the, the next year from, from, uh, 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 from your platform? Well, um, I, of course, we have a lot of ideas. But to be honest, last year was just a complete roller coaster and everything w uh, went completely different than we expected it to be. Uh, so, in all honesty, I can't give any uh, promises. Okay, that's, that's also a nice expedition, I guess. And like when a company also wants to use your software, uh, is it easy to, 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 to change so they can start with it? And can they also make the link between their, uh, uh, their, their database with, uh, with all the employees and, and these kind of things? Well, uh, it's very easy to set up. So, there, that's not a problem. Uh, the connection to the, the databases of these, these companies, we're, we still uh, have that uh, feature in our backlog. So currently we're, we're really focusing on these governments and uh, as soon as we basically have the first tests with, with uh, businesses and we find that well, you know, they really like it, we can invest more in developing these features. Okay, cool. But I think uh, you're making the right decision by first focusing on the governments. So I wish you good luck with that and uh, thank you for the interview. Oh, thank you very much as well.